Hey again, our last program was a um, generated random numbers and used a while loop to test to see whether they, uh, the number generated was 17 and we repeated that loop until we got that value and then we printed it out. Um, uh, let's take that same idea, the same looping structure, but instead of a while loop we're going to use a do while loop. So I'm going to just toss it in here just underneath and then I'm going to delete the old one in a second so so that you can see what happens. Um, the generation of the random number and, and printing out and so all that happens in the same way it's just the order of where you put things that's a little bit different. So in a do while loop you do something and then you do it as long as there's a condition that's true and so you put the while statement afterwards while the number is not equal to uh, 17. Uh, and then semicolon. So what do we want to do if the number is not 17? We want to print out this value just like that, just like before, and we want to generate a new number. Now the difference here is that um, the the checking happens after after the loop it has executed at least once. So this is uh, this can be trouble for us because um, in this case we want to test every number that's generated. So I'm going to get rid of this part here, and let's think about what will happen if we leave the program as is. We are going to generate a random number and then print out that it didn't match generate a new one and then continue from there. But it is possible, and actually in the last video, it is possible that we will get 17 on our first try generating a number. So one option is to remove this and make our first value a non-matching value. And let's make it something crazy like negative one. And then it's going to print out no match negative one until we get to the value 17. So let's try that. So we'll run our program. Again, this is a do followed by the, the condition checking, the while. And so the first line you can see is a no match and negative one, and then a bunch of other values, and until eventually we get a match at 17. So this is not quite as tidy in this case because we do want to keep and retain this value here at the beginning to see uh, uh, to see if the very first number generated is a good number or not. So for this particular application it's better to use the while loop that we had before but sometimes you want to have the do happen, uh, you want to have the loop go through at least one time uh, before you check the condition. Okay, thanks a lot.